Warning, this channel and all games played are intended for a mature audience. If you are under the age of 13, you need to leave this channel now. Also, Redbeard is a total and you wouldn't like him anyway. If you are easily offended, you might as well get the hell out of here also. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is that time of the week again. It is time to check out to see what's new for Red Dead Online. So we're gonna go look around and stuff. Now this is before the Rockstar Newswire comes out and before the patch notes come out. So if there's stuff that's kind of instrumental to the update this week, I'll do another video later on today. But this is just me kind of going through the game, checking out to see anything new. Write down in the comments if you've already seen something I might have missed. This is me kind of just kind of just going through the different clothing or see if there's discounts or anything in the game. So if there's something I've missed, like I said, write down in the comments, help everybody out. So let's just jump into it real quick. I'm probably gonna go ahead and check over and just see what's new in clothing and kind of work my way down from there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead over here to the tailor. Let's see what we have new for clothing this week, maybe. There is a new hat. It is called the Birdwell hat. So let's take a look at it, $149. Man, what, was, what were they thinking? <laughs> this this thing is stupid. I'm not trying to just be hateful to be hateful. This, this is stupid looking, guys. $149.50. I don't even know. It looks like a 1970s shag rug. I mean, come, come on. <laughs> but anyway, if you do like this, I mean, I'm not making fun of you like it, but I'm making it fun of it because I don't like it. Um, but yeah, uh, here you go. $149.50 for this thing. And also, too, the raccoon hat is back. Um, it's kind of cool, whatever, I guess. I mean, it's not horrible. Um, I bought a couple of them, as you can see, so I can't make fun of it too much, but that's back. Uh, it's $151.50. And the Cossack hat is back. The eraser head, <laughs> it's back again. And that is $147.25. And there is a new coat. It is the Walden coat, $199.50 as well here. Um, it's not a bad looking coat. I kind of like that one right there. Um, I don't know. I, I think I might buy it. I don't know. Um, yeah, $199.50. I don't know. I'll come back and mess with it later. I don't know if I'll bother with it. Uh, but it's not a bad looking coat. Kind of looks like the shotgun coat. Um, but not a bad coat. And there is a new vest. This is a Barras vest. Um, it's not a bad looking one, actually. Uh, $198.75. It's not bad. Not too bad looking. And then again, the Morales vest is back. And a lot of people said they like this one. I don't know. Around the shoulders, I can deal with the fur, but it's around the neck, man. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's just something about it I don't care for. But uh, $157.75 for that. It is back again. And then there's some couple new boots. Got the Hardy boots, $216. So let's take a look at those real quick. Um, Not bad looking boots. Uh, let's see. Yeah, $216 is no different variation. Sometimes the price changes. Um, but yeah, not too bad looking. But I mean, it's just boots though. And then you have the Oakley boots, $159.75 for those. Uh, kind, kind of cool looking uh, flourishes and stuff on them. Kind of booted out myself though, honestly. <laughs> And there's some new chaps, and some of the old chaps are back. You got new ones, the Schaefer chaps right here, $59.50. And actually, they're not new. They look, I thought they were new, but they are just back because I have them <laughs> already previously bought. So uh, it doesn't look like they're new at all. And uh, I think the, the Griffith chaps are back too as well. I don't remember seeing them in the store. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if, if so. And the pelt half chaps, they look like those are back, back as well. I don't remember seeing those in the um, catalog lately. And then the cockerel and the gordillo, I think those are, I think those are the ones I've been here before. Yeah, I, I think I recognize those from before. I'll, I could be wrong. I just never messed with the chaps. I don't really care for them. Um, but yeah, I, I think I remember seeing these uh, in here. So I'm not 100% sure. And also, too, all the new clothing and anything that's back in limited stock is available for the women as well. Now, the women have a couple new things. It is the Nesta shirtwaist shirt and the Isbel corset. So make sure to check those out if you have women characters. 
sorry I don't, but make sure to go ahead and check that out if you do. And there is some emotes on sale, so let's take a look at that real quick. Um, I can't see what their what the discount is on them uh, because I have all of them basically except for a couple. Um, but there is a discount on those, so if you don't have them, you highlight over top of them. You should see what the discount is on them actually. And looking at these, I guess right here in the catalog, I overlooked them. Uh, these were ninety five dollars or seventy one dollars and twenty five cents. And then if you look over here, they were one hundred fourteen dollars and fifty cents, and now they're eighty five eighty seven. And these here in the bottom right, it shows one hundred fifteen dollars and fifty cents, and now they're eighty six dollars and sixty two cents. And let's head over to the stable, see if there's anything new in here. And you can see vehicles, there's actually a discount on those, so let's take a look at that. Go to buy vehicles, so there is a pretty good discount on hunting wagons. Normally it's like $875, it's down to $656.24. That's a pretty good discount. Bounty wagons, usually $875, and it's down to $656.24 as well. And let's go ahead and check the post office. There should be a new weekly collection from Madame Nazar. You can also check out your camp as well to find it. So let's check this out real quick and see what we got. We got the semi-precious stones collection. And the collection is the turquoise ring, uh, the garnet bangle bracelet, and the topaz necklace. You get $95 for turning that in. And then also too, Madame Nazar is over in Blue Water Marsh if you want to turn in the collection once you find it. So I'll show you where she's at, just in case you don't know. It's just right here in this area by the Showdown Series, Elimination Series icon. Right about here. And as you can see in the bottom left, still having issues today. There's They haven't fixed the camp glitch before them spawn in. You can see where it's just hesitating on the bottom left, so that is happening as well still. And also too, I'm going to check animal spawns. I'm in a regular size lobby. Uh, 24 people of course we all know if it's smaller lobbies you have actual animal spawns but the actual fix will come if there's a larger size lobby so I'm gonna go check the Heartlands area and the Great Plains area to see if there's any animals in that area so I've searched about 10 minutes over the Heartlands area it's one of the more hot spots for pronghorn different animals like that especially birds and ducks and I'm not seeing none whatsoever I think when we do have a fix for this, whenever it does end up coming out, it's going to be more of an update file. It won't be these tunables that just, you know, automatically come onto the game. You're going to actually have to have a download to fix this. So nothing in the Heartlands whatsoever. And I've also searched over in the Great Plains and the Tall Trees area. Again, used to be a great place for deer. Not seeing nothing over here either, guys. I didn't expect it, like I said, unless we have an update actual file. I don't think this will be something that will be fixed anytime soon until we have one of those. So guys, that looks like what we have for this week. Um, until the Rockstar Newswire comes out, we might hopefully know something for the future. Maybe at least they'll address some of these issues. Rockstar hasn't actually really addressed a lot of these issues we're having. You know, back even to the camp spawning, you know, animals not there, Moonshiner missions failing, Moonshiner shacks disappearing, missions failing halfway through. Just multiple, multiple things, even trying to even log into the game. Now, I know this is not widespread for every single player, but I would say 70 to 80% of the people, a lot of my friends have actually quit playing the game, and I hate that because some of the best friends I've ever actually made playing video games has been on Red Dead Online because it is one of those open world games where multiple people can play together. There's not many games that are out there, so I do appreciate Rockstar that has games like that, but man, it is really killing the people off. At least in my circle, a lot of the people aren't there no more. And it's hard to even get them to come back on to play showdowns and stuff. And I get it. I completely understand it. So, guys, hopefully something will come out later today. If it does, I will make sure to let you guys know about the Newswire. I'm really hoping for the patch notes. Maybe something on the back end that we didn't see they're fixing. Or at least they're addressing. That's really what I'm hoping for. I don't really want new hats or new boots or anything. I want the game fixed. So it does have a good foundation moving forward. So guys, if I've missed anything, write down in the comments. Like I said, I don't have the news wired knowing everything that came out. I checked Madame Nazar, checked the Moonshine Shack for the store there. No discounts on either one of those. So if this video did help you out, guys, I appreciate it if you give the video a like. It helps the channel out a ton. Also, too, if you go the extra mile, if you haven't already, hit that sub button and bell notification. So anytime these videos come out, you get notified right away. As always, guys, I'll catch you next time in the next video.